Good morning, everybody. It's Vapix here from Subjugated Gaming, bringing you more King of the Hill for Horus Heresy Legions. This is Season 3, Episode 4. Yes, Episode 4. That is right, Episode 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, cool. Okay, so last time, we uh, got a bit salty at the end there when we were playing as Magnus, and then we got beat by Liam and Russ, so we're back on Liam and Russ. Same deck as we were playing earlier. No changes. Haven't changed it at all. One thing I want to point out to everyone before we start with the day is that Apotheosis is in the uh, vet store if from the event that I got voted in for. So if you don't have them and you're the collector, get it because, like, it's great in curves. It's basically a neutral Whispers of Chaos for a lot of, like, people. Like, it just makes them so much better. Like, Kurs as well. He plays a one off and the heal 10 is insane. So, you know, it's there. Get it while it's there if you've got the things because only a one. Like, if you have, if you have strats for gems, only get the one, you know? All right, let's get, go let's get into it. First game. All right, here we go. First match of the day, we got Gnosis, okay, or Gnosis, or names of correct pronunciation is something we don't do. Um, These two can go, I think. Yeah? Yeah. His ability to hide is annoying. I remember this matchup where we were playing Gnosis and we won, so we'll see how we go. Probably should have kept that right now, actually. Hmm. Well, we'll see. We will so surely see how this goes. What she got? I think this is a poor matchup for us. See how fast we can go, actually. We gotta go fast, for sure. Um, yeah, okay, well. We do that. And then we'll swing with this and he'll get precog off it, but that's okay. Because we are ready for it. And by ready for it, I mean there's no way of stopping it. So we're just going to, you know. Oh, he's going to get rid of it this turn. Oh, he's going to get pre-cooked this turn. Sure. I'm okay for him to waste that this early. Means that later on he won't be able to. It sucks we didn't have anything to play that turn. But this next turn will be pretty decent. Oof. Ouch. That hurts a bit. This will be good when we get it off. Because we should be just be able to stun him forever. Um, risky to play this is the thing, right? Because he can just kill it by playing that two drop and swinging at it twice. He does th take four damage when he does it, but it's not that much. So we'll play this out for now, and say do it to this guy and take the same amount of damage. So yeah, we just got to chip him down, chipping him slowly, slowly, and by slowly, slowly I mean as fast as we can, because we lose the long game in this matchup. I'm pretty sure. What's she gonna do? Long Fang is gonna be good, and this spear is gonna be really good too because we can take the hit from the big guys as long as they don't have front line, and then they're stunned for that turn. Yeah, was expecting. What are you playing now? Goldstone? No heal. Okay, <coughs> we can we can deal with that. Um, so we'll play Long Fang, and I think we attack here. And he can kill this again by taking the damage, but it's all right. Um, something else I should mention is last time I was very sick. Now today, I'm slightly less sick, so my coughing fits won't be as bad. Ouch. But that was, to be honest, to be expected. Um, I think we just play Spear here and swing face and say, you don't draw, you're stunned. You can swing at us, but then you won't draw the following turn as well. And we can play this big frontliner out, maybe. Like that might be the goal, because he'll probably swing at us. Ooh, ouch. I think we might leave that and not attack into it and put the... Yeah, let's let's not. Let's, let's do this. Right? And then we can kill that with a sneak attack if needed. See what he does. Okay, he's got, he's got the other one, which sucks, but... You know... Sure, may as well, right? Um, what do we do here then? Hmm. Well, we need to do that. That's for sure. Oh, I'm dumb. I'm so dumb. I am so dumb. I forgot what we were playing. Um, let's do this then. Man, I am dumb. 10 out of 10 dumb, guys.
Where's that gun there? Sure. Sure. Um, what do we do? So, uh, big decisions here. I think we do want to play the big frontliner, which means we want to get rid of this guy here, though. So we play this. We swing there. We're okay with taking that damage. We swing here. Um, do we buff? Let's buff. And then we can swing here. And then we can swing face again. And we can then turn. Okay. We might be able to pull this out because of the stun. Okay. He's got that 5-6 and one card in hand that he can use. We might be okay here. The what? Okay. Ouch. Can we kill him? Um, 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Uh, oh, we can kill him. Well, let's not be dumb, though. Oh, uh, we have to attack him so many times, though. Um, hang on, that's... Five damage, that doesn't get him close enough, unfortunately. Hmm. Do we just then buff... Play this to swing here. If we buff again, so five and two. Oh, it's gotta be four. It's just four, isn't it? That gets us to f four. Can we get him five and two? Seven. Seven gets him to four. Yeah, we buff again. Swing here. Swing face. We're both on four. This costs one. Yeah. Play this for the safety. We've got Ward. He's stunned. We have health. We can't attack again because we haven't got the pack. By the end of okay. We're okay. We got out of that. Even after my dumb play. See, if we attack the turn after that dumb play, he would be dead this turn. But, you know. Okay. Neat. Got him. Phew. Okay, that's another one for Lehman Rust. Lehman Rust up to four. Because we're just adding on to where he was before. Let's get back in. My points dropped from last video because I played a lot of Magnus and was just messing around having some fun and just died a lot from bad plays, but it is what it is. Alright, um, going first. See, yeah, that's nice. Oh, we go get rid of that and do we get rid of the 4 drop for some lower things? I think we do. Yeah, we need we need something small. We can't risk not having a turn 1 or turn 2 play. Decent. Better. Much better. What do we got? Yeah, good. Okay. Feeling decent here. And we can drop this on our next turn most likely, unless he drops a 3-3 bike. No, he drops that. Okay. Oh, well, we can get rid of that. Spear again. That's nice. Um, do we just ignore it and go face? I think we do. Like, I think we can just ignore this. It's a decision I've made now that I might regret. Um, but I've made the decision, so I'm going to stick with it. What she got? Stun me? Sure. That makes sense. Let's sneak. Okay, well, we have to deal with that now. Uh, well, we play you. Do we smack, smack? I think, yeah, we... We do actually get rid of this now, because he stunned us this turn. And we're not feeling too bad where we are now. We've got a flank thing for next turn. We can draw cards off this. Like, okay. Oh, he could play the um, fast thing to get rid of this. But if he, if he does that, it's kind of okay. Oh, he's going to play Goldstone. Oh, no, he's going to draw some cards. Sure. But he took the three damage, so we're kind of okay there. Let's hope we draw into something we can play. Anything that costs five or less. Decent. Good card for us to draw then. we got Spear for next turn as well. Actually, the Spear against um, Soul will be quite good, meaning he can't do his ability. It's a bit late, like, by the time you get it off, but it could still stop some plays he's planning to do. So, we're not, um, upset that we've got it. Also, World Cup pairings are up. We're up against, uh, Italia. And I'm up against, um, Happy. For round one, so I'm keen for that. Hmm. What do we do here? Do we ignore it? 
I think we do ignore it. Yeah, let, let's just straight up ignore it. Because of our hand, right? We've got lethal next turn easy. There's not much you can do about it. Just don't put a big frontliner on the field. And even then, we won't be feeling too bad about where we're at. So, we're... I think we're in a great position here to just win this game next time. We went first, so... You know, that was lucky. If Sol goes first, we're feeling pretty bad. But we're right here. So, I think this will be the fifth win for Lehman Russ, putting him in line with Proctor. Proctor got an early lead with all those bad plays at the beginning. I think that's what I might do at the beginning of every season, is just pick a Wardle that's bad, like... Maybe I'll do Ingrithel next season or something like that and see how far we can get before we uh, lose, which might be pretty quickly with Ingrithel. Okay, I would have drawn for first before attacking, but... Uh... Okay, Brilliance. What are you playing for seven? What's seven that I'm scared of? Okay. Oh, that stunned me. Sure. That's fine. We're okay with that, actually. We'll just do that. Because Goldstone and damage kills, and this is a distraction that he has to swing both of his things into at this stage. We've got our veterans as well to kill something else big, you know. We're not entirely worried right now. He's used both of his easy stuns. He won't be playing the one drop, because why would you? And we'll see how we go. So yeah, my matchup against Happy, I'm playing Kurz and Ulrach, and he's playing Lehman Russ, and what's his second deck? I can't remember. Oh, yeah, I can't remember his second deck. I'll look that up real quick. Uh, that hurts a little, but we're not too worried about it. Um, so yeah, we just win here Like this Easy peasy Japanesey Alright, well, what, what's he playing? I can't remember what he's playing Let's, Let me look Let me find this real quick And we'll just jump into the next game Oh, that was that What? Okay, I don't know how that happened again from the same lodge But alright We'll just write about that real quick. All right, let's jump into the next one. We got... Angron, okay. Well, this might be rough. Um, we need to keep that. These two can go. Oh, rough. I didn't know about that voice line. Okay, so yeah, um, Happy is playing Levin Russ and Ferris Manus. So, I think it's um, a good matchup for me. Uh, this is a pretty average hand for us to open here. So all we do is buff our attack. <coughs> In every game, you got to decide who's the aggressor and who's the defender. In this matchup, I'm the defender. Um... A hand's pretty good from next turn onwards. The fact that we haven't drawn anything small sucks, but frontliner, frontliner, you can't hardly deal with. Big guy that says you can't target me. Feeling good. That's all he's doing. Wow, okay. Yeah, we'll just chuck out the frontliner. He must have a big hand too. I wonder what he got off of band supplies. If he throws down um, Bron this turn, it's going to hurt a lot. And there won't be much we can do about it, unfortunately. What are you doing, Adrian? Adrian! Oh, Trent. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, okay. <laughs> whoa. A very weird deck. Let's just chuck that down. Just waste through his uh, troops. He must be playing very trip heavy then, if he's playing training cage. <clears throat> okay, we're okay with that. I'm gonna take the four damage. Um, 
Now we play this guy. What do you got for him? Can't play um, Congre yet, so he'll probably survive. Yeah, sure. That makes sense. All right, three, two, bike. Ouch. Okay. So I think I don't want to play out too much, right? Hmm. Do I play the two three drops, buff myself once, and then swing with everything, maybe? Or do I want to heal? I think we want to go for the swings. So we'll do this. We'll buff ourselves once. We'll get this damage in. And then this damage in. And then that damage in. And then we'll, that'll put him down to... What's that? Five. Yeah. And he'll struggle to get um, to one. Okay. <coughs> I'm not doing terribly here. He's probably going to play the Conqueror this turn. Right? Maybe he's not playing it. If he's playing Trip Heavy, he might have decided to not be playing it. Which would be very interesting. Ooh, he's not playing it. Well, he hasn't got it in hand, at least. If he's got something to do one damage... He can get himself to Reckoning. But even if he does, we're not feeling that bad about it. You know? Like, he can swing here, deal one, get it back off, swing face. Yeah, okay, strike and fade. Into Reckoning. Into face swing. Smack me for five. He'll go down to seven health. Then what else you got? Sure, that makes sense. Can we kill you? Um, two, eight, uh, six. No, we can't kill him. What we can do, though, is buff, swing, buff, and turn. But if he's got a Goldstone or another fast unit in hand, he wins. And we're playing Angron, which I really don't want to do. But it looks like that's what's going to happen. Oh, I should have played the Frontline. What? I'm dumb. <sighs> he's got it, doesn't he? He's got something. Con oh. Maybe he doesn't. Okay, well, he didn't have it, so we win. Like... All right. Okay. Neat. <coughs> okay. Wasn't ready to actually get that one. That's five for us now. Hey, is it? How many games we played this ma this video so far? One, two, three. Okay, yeah. So it puts him to six. Leave us to six. Because we had three before. Three then to six. So yeah, my matchups against um, Happy with Kurz and Ulraj versus. Ferris Manus and um, Lehman Russ are going to be interesting, I think. So Kurz has a good matchup against Lehman Russ, and I think so does Ulrich, if he doesn't go too fast at the beginning. Against Manus, it could go either way with both of them. Um, I'm not too sure. I think maybe Ulrich is probably better against Ferris than what Kurz is, but if I can go super hard, super early with Kurz, like open a mercy and forgiveness, just be able to get all these early trips off board and stuff like that. I'll be feeling much better, but he'll be able to tech things in to deal with me, like a lot of anti-stealth and stuff, so I don't know. I think definitely versing Lehman Russ is going to be the easy one, but Manus is going to be difficult. <coughs> okay, Ulrich, here we go. This will be this will be how to tell. If I get destroyed here, then we'll know that Ulrich is probably a good... Um, oh, and it's a good player too, so that's good. Um, we won't play the Goldstone, but we will play the, the Seeker though. Okay, decent. I don't think attacking this first turn is going to be good because he can just heal it, but we'll do it. Now, don't play the 1 3 with Sword 2. Good. Nice. And we play this guy and swing. Okay, we're feeling not too bad right now. I'll keep constantly clicking out of the screen, which is really annoying. 
I've got this set up as a dual screen on my monitor, so every time I go to hit in turn, sometimes I just go a little bit too far and then like click on my editing software. Oof, ouch, okay. That kind of hurts. Um, but I guess we're kind of okay with it. We'll take a bunch of damage here, but... Fear me and my big doggy. And we can play the frontliner next turn as well to feel good about it. It's a 4-drop, isn't it, the thing with flank? The 5-3 with unstoppable flank, that'll just kill us. If he's got it, he's got it. No, he doesn't have it. Neat. Feels good. Okay. We're okay here. So we play this. Ooh, we don't swing with that first. We swing with this first here. Get that buff. Swing here. And then get that buff heal. End turn. Now we've got a 5-8 and a 4-5 and me. And things have ward and I've got Wolf Claw. We get some serious damage in next turn, actually. Not a frontliner. Not a frontliner. Can we kill him? So 6, 9, 12, um, 16, 19. Ah, oh, we can't because then that'll... Smack too early. Oh, maybe we can. If we do it right. Fuck it. We're, we're, we're going to go full face. Right. And then we can... Yeah, play this goldstone. Smack here. Then smack here. This will then the swing. Get rid of the rest of it. Then we can swing face. And then swing here. Okay, well, definitely need to beat Lehman Rust with my Curse and not with Ulrich, because ouch. Big ouch. That was so quick. All right. Uh, that's seven wins for um, Rusty Boy here. Let's get into another one. Last one of the video. Big ouch. That scares me a little, because I'll be on the other end of that. Could have been a very different game if he actually opened the 1 3 that shoots things for 2. Or if he went first, because I went first there. So everything went right for me, but big ouch. Oh, this is going to be rough. I think we might be playing Horus after this, because I think this is a terrible matchup for me. And it's Zaymon. Real good player, so all oh, this can go. It's not good. <sighs> if we can get the 6 drop ward dude out, we'll be feeling decent. And this is alright. And by alright, I mean this sucks, but we got this guy for next turn, so, you know. As much as I want to start smacking face, I don't know if I can. So, actually, since we drew this 2-drop, we can. Like, just buffing myself, that might have been okay, because it prevents him from playing that fast unit, the 3-3 three, three with fast, but... I think we're okay like this. <coughs> oh, he's just going to bounce it. I'm okay with it. I'm very much okay with that. Ooh, do we play slow? No, we don't. We can drop that a little later when we need cards. But for now, this is what we want. Could drop it next turn, actually. Not bad. Not a bad drop for next turn. The fact he had to play this to bounce my first turn play is good for us, because it's out of the way, but it's also bad because it's annoying. That makes sense. <coughs> okay. He's down to low cards though, which is nice for us. Um, yeah, we'll play this. That feels good. The fact that it's got ward, you know, means he can't just shoot it for four damage with the uh, whatever it's called. Can't remember. Four drop, deal four, draw a card. Can't remember what it's called. Ward is such a powerful mechanic. Like he's so overwhelming sometimes. Ooh, that changes things a little, hey. I mean, we're okay with it, because we just do this. And then we play this. And then... We swing. And we swing. And we swing. Enter. Nice. Okay. <coughs> okay, we're feeling decent here. Wolf Claw is so powerful, with like a Godstone in hand. It's just so much damage. Like, the, the, the two-card combo gives you 12 damage. 
for six energy, plus whatever else you got on the field. Hmm. Okay. Do we play the defensive card, or do we just go face? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, let's just do this, right? And then we play you, because we can. Um, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He can't kill us, I don't think. He'll struggle to kill us on his turn. He'll have to go for the troops. Really want to draw something with fast or with flank? Doesn't matter what. Just fast or flank. <coughs> Man, all this talking is just setting off my cough. Dying. It'd be great if we can get this win. Okay, well, that's, you know... Makes a whole lot of sense there. Ooh, okay. Then he wants to get the five damage in on face, does he? <coughs> faster flank. Anything with faster flank. Oh, that'll that'll also work. Neat. All right, that's <laughs> five wins straight for Lehman Rust there. So he's up to eight now. That was amazing. There were some top players we just beat with him as well. Like, who did we get? We got um, the dude from our lodge. We got Adrian. We got Wintermore. And we got Zaymon. That was some hefty names. I bet they... they Adrian's not, but the other ones are in top 50, I think. Right? How high is top 50? Um, so there's Zaymon in seventh. Um, no, okay. So the, some of them aren't. Is Wintermore? I thought Wintermore was. What's he at? Okay, well, none of them actually. Only Zaymon was in top 50, but the other one's a striking range. But they're all very, very good players. They're in the Masterclass Lodge. Well, Wintermore is. Adrian's great. Versed him a lot last season. Great player. Surprising we got him, actually. We got a little lucky they didn't have the cards. I think that was our lucky win. Um, and yeah, alrighty. So thank you very much for watching. We'll continue with Lehman Rust next episode. He's got to eight wins, so he's just storming ahead early season. This is bloody episode four, isn't it? So pretty, pretty hard up there i said i wanted to do 10 episodes this season but with christmas coming around in a couple of weeks exactly two weeks today um it might be hard to get episodes up during that time but we'll see maybe i'm pretty sure ladder will just not be so high this season like the top 50 and stuff like that because of christmas everybody we should be doing that sort of stuff so i'll try and top 50 this season but we'll see if i do or not and if i don't we'll just do more king of the hill you know otherwise um subscribe for more you know that'd be great hit the bell so youtube notifies you a lot uh, otherwise, follow me on Twitter because I'll upload there. Oh, sorry, I'll post there every time I upload a video. Join the Horus Heresy Discord, like I always say, because it's a great place. Keep doing that. Keep joining that community. It's fantastic. And um, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.